Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well today. I'm Eva from Permaculture Heaven and you can probably see the cassava behind me. I love cassava, you can do so much with it, but it will be the first time for me where I'm doing my own cassava flower. So, and starch as well. So you can be with me now um, and see how I go. If you have any questions or uh, comments, please put them in the comment section below. And if you like the video, please show some love, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified about the next videos I upload. So now get into it and see how I go. So these are these guys here, over two meters now. I will get into it now and dig them out. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? I end up digging all the three plants I had here. This is just from one season. Okay, and before you complain, I didn't show you how easy it is to, to peel cassava. So before I'm finished, I will just show you quickly. And get another skin. The thicker skin you have to get rid of the thick one as well not only this one so and that's it the next one suck easy to grow easy to peel delicious to eat just if you want to eat it um, instead of potatoes very important cook it in the water not on steam so, because then they will be too dry if you cook it in um, on steam okay the cassava is gray uh, is peeled now it was over seven and a half kilo what i harvested today so now i will be grating it with my machine okay the cassava is now grated i will soak it now in water to uh, remove the starch of it and then we will go into the next step so you can already see while i'm putting the water into it how white it's getting that's the starch so i had this here sitting in the fridge overnight and now you can see how the starch nicely sitting at the bottom here so i will move it now into this food grade uh, back to rinse it properly but I think it was a really good idea with this bag and the pot of course underneath because you want to keep the starch now I have to rinse it to get the starch into the bottom All the water with starch stays in the pot and we we'll separate again. <clears throat> see how we go. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, let's move it into this one. Now the second bag. good this one will settle now for them and wait for the next step so 
cassava everywhere and over there and here so up in there and this is hard vegetable so you're supposed to dry it on 50 degrees celsius no more and the same here 50 degrees and i leave the door a little open so the humid air can get out just draining the water slowly i drank the water so far and now having here a scolander and super clean tea towel which i'm only using for this kind of stuff like doing uh, cheese or quark or something like that and then cooking it um, washing it in 90 degrees so now getting my starch into it so getting it all out so getting this one out now as well all in there you can see it's in here okay I can see there is still some starch in there so I will wait a little longer till it sets again so I've got it here now We let it drain for a while and then we'll dry it so I can store it in a, in a container. So, I was drying it for two days during the day. So, it's all looking good and dry. Also in here, everything is nice and dry. And the beautiful starch as well and I have prepared everything for grinding so sorry about the noise in the background but we are cooking as well at the moment look at there the high pressure cooker over there <laughs> yeah so this is the beautiful starch which we can use instead of uh, we can like a cornstarch or potato flour this is one cup beautiful nice one hundred percent organic and naturally grown tapioca. So this one goes in here, that's good. I'm keeping always the baking paper for things like this, which for dehydrating, so I can use them over and over again. All right, and now I have never done this before with this machine. Wish me luck. <laughs> Cassava is nice and dry. Well, I think it's closed now, so let's try.
Okay. Yes. Wow. It's really nice and powdery. So let's get it out. Oh, this is the last batch I have done. I saved you the time in between. <laughs> I was always waiting uh, until it gets a bit cooler, the machine, because it's getting really hot. But now we're all done. We will put it into the jar and see how much in weight I've got. Oh, nice. I'm very, very happy with the flour. And the machine is at the end. It's not bad at all. If you don't put more than half. So that's what I did all the time and just waited a little while in between to get it a little bit cooler. I was just scared. Probably maybe I could use it one go after the other, but I just didn't want to break it. So it was all working fine. It's not that hot when you put only half. The flour is very fluffy. It is one kilo in here. And I will just find another jar. In the meantime, we'll put it all in here to see the weight. So, this is 500 grams, which means we've got one and a half kilo of the cassava flour from seven and a half kilo of the raw cassava, the harvested cassava, plus one cup of the starch if you ask me if it was worth the work if i think about what kind what quality of flour it is organic uh, gluten-free so yeah i will do it again i will try uh, some um, to bake some cakes and breads and will keep you updated and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did Please put a thumb up for us, subscribe to our uh, channel if you still didn't. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!